When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Right, if you've been to Hobart or you live in Hobart, you can't help but see all the, the um, graffiti, the, the crazy writing, the mindless writing, you know, that means nothing, the symbols, the signs, they're, they're on the poles, they're on the streets, they're on the footpath, they're on the walls, they're on the phone boxes, they're on the communication boxes, they're, they're on the, uh, you know, doors and back streets and in toilets and everywhere and none of it makes any sense they're on the churches that they're on you know walkways um seats everywhere you look everywhere you turn you see these things and none of them make sense they look like mindless like insane writings but they're not they're worse a lot worse than that I mean, it would be good if that's all they were, but they're actually curses, they're hexes, they're sigils of the enemy, the Satanists, they, they're um, assigning demons to these areas through automatic writing, suggestive, um, like, and subliminal messages that you can't really see, and they're mingling them with other graffiti, even the, the scribbles, you know, they all mean something, and then they turn it into good-looking art, but their names are demons, and they're actually, like I said, assigning the, these things to the places in Hobart to bring death and destruction, torment, fear, uh, sickness, disease, accidents and disasters because they're putting them near roadways, um, crossroads, old people's homes, anywhere up and down the street, intersections, uh, cop them a lot schools you know um medical centers anywhere there's a lot of activity they go around and they're cursing like the the um the sports grounds cursing everywhere the the um all the roadways where there's been accidents they go and um put their curses there they're doing the rivers they're doing the um reservoirs Everywhere you think of, they're cursing because they get brownie points and if, if they get an accident or someone dies or gets sick or whatever, they can uh, brag about it. Yeah, I done that. I signed that demon here or there or whatever and that's their purpose. And when they astral reject, they can actually see the, ri the places they've done. They set areas aside and they can see the places they've done as rivers of darkness, rivers of, of filth where they've claimed their ground. But if we go out and start praying, start anointing with oil, start praying like all Christians should instead of just hiding hiding, and, uh, you know, trying to ignore and putting our head in the sand, then if we go out and start taking them on, we'll soon sort them out no trouble at all because they have been sorted out. But I, we, me and my wife moved down here to Hobart. We... um moved into a pretty active street pretty um like they obviously owned this street there were a lot of crazy stuff going on so i went out with the oil the anointing oil in one night you know things there was fighting there was people walking around cricket bats and wheelies and music and just crazy stuff going on every second day it was like constant and then i started up and down the street anointing with oil breaking the curses on the poles and up you know you could even see a difference after one night so i did it again and again did it three or four times and now every three four five months i go out do it again i keep praying for the street but the whole street settled down we're near some housing commission the whole street the whole everything just quietened down because i'm taking back the land So anyway, the witches came, they started putting blood on the um, signs, they started trying to take it back, there was a bit of a wrestle for it, they give up after a while, and now I'm sort of going further afield around the um, streets, because they're everywhere, and that, like these signs are everywhere, so I started just sticking it in the, um, anointing these poles, and uh, breaking the uh, curses, taking the land back, and... Anyway, what happened, 
I did around, I, I um, went to a church for a little while down in Moona, and that, they knew I was going there, so they started doing the hexes around the church. So I started going around the blocks there, up and down the road, through the main street, main road there, and anyway, and I anointed all these, probably 40 or 50 of these poles, prayed over them, and anyway, come home and I had this dream where I was standing, uh, just standing there, and all about 40 or 50 of these about 18 inch high bats, or say 50 centimetre high bats, skinless black bats with spikes on their wings were jumping up and down trying to scratch me legs and like there was a whole heap of them they couldn't fly they'd been grounded so anyway i've grabbed one i've smashed its head on the ground and then i started smashing the other ones with that and i just kept hammering them smashing them to pieces and a voice spoke to me and said hit them again so and I woke up and I thought, right, I have to go and do that area again, totally take them out. So I did it again, and then, um, anyway, this is unbelievable what happened after that. Here's what I actually wrote down when I woke up. I can write better than this, but skinless black bats attacked, but were on ground, hopping around, had claws on their wings, trying to attack me were scratching my legs. I ended up with the body of a bat or something hard and smashing skulls. The voice said to hit it twice and I started hitting the bats in the dream twice. And then here's what I wrote interpretation. Obviously I hit the target and anointing the poles and street but I must have to do it again so I went out to do it again. Two months later these signs started going up around the same area that I had this battle with the bats in my dream and have a look what what it is ex exactly the same bats that I fought in the dream two months ago I mean these people are connected the demons these ain't like Harry Potter freaks or Tina Sabrina the teenage witch sort of things people these are blood drinking satanists totally in contact with with the devil at their ritual meetings and they're getting the instruction they're the ones assigning these things through automatic writing um the subliminal um, messages like suggestive messages and that they they're assigning these demons to every area there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. So many books in the bookshops, there's on the internet, there's so many courses you can take to make these. White witchcraft, black witchcraft, it doesn't matter. It's all coming from the devil. When you uh, fall into the snare, you're going to be trapped and it's a deep, dark pit with no bottom and you just get tangled up more and more and more. You start with uh, just... The devil puts the hook in, he cl his claws in with supernatural stuff surrounding all this junk and any witchcraft. And then you get fascinated, you think you're on a path of enlightenment and um, you just fall deeper and deeper into destruction. You're destroying your own soul. The demons swarm around you like blowflies and enter you and take, up, take you over. Then they've got you doing their bidding. You think you got power over the elements, power over everything, but you got nothing. You're a pawn in the game, a bigger game than, than the Satanists even can imagine. And they're just being used. And in the end, they'll be chewed up and spat out. Most become reprobate because the demons take them over and that's the end of them. But some of them can be saved so can't just write them all off some of them will come out and can come out and god will bring them out so here's a here's a book curses hexes and crossing it's just scribble you're putting demons you're assigning demons like automatic writing or channeling um you let the demon do its work through you. You get into the spirit, the demonic spirit. Not that I've ever been there, but this is what happens. Just like 
well, it's nothing like the Holy Spirit. But when we praise God, when we glorify God, when we're doing His will, He starts working through us. His Spirit will flow through us. But when they do their wicked rituals, go fall into sin, see their conscience, the devil's spirit works through them. And that way they're channeling him in their actions, in their deeds, in their words. He gives them gifts to satisfy their flesh, like more influence, fame, fortune, sex, whatever it is they want. He'll give them little bits on a, on a platter and they think they're on the right track and getting everything in the world and rejecting God and hating God and falling deeper into the pit. But anyway, here's a book. You know, they have their conferences. The witches all get together like us Christians get together and have conferences and learn how to serve God better, get understanding, wisdom. Well, they're the opposite. They get understanding and worldly wisdom on how to curse people, how to kill people, because then they climb up the ladder, how to make them sick and how to get their own way, the self and the self um just the self-serving lifestyle of a Satanist is filthy and they don't care about anyone else. They see their conscience, they trample their grandmothers so they can climb some ladder. They think they need to get up and in the end it's worth nothing. It's absolutely worth nothing. It's worse than nothing. But there's plenty of books out there plenty of junk here's um some sigils i don't know what they mean i ne was never a satanist here's another one on a church in in near um the city some more bad 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 and bad things happen around them they're so in division strife debate discord death and destruction sickness disease poverty madness insanity fear nightmares just all the wicked emotions all the wicked torments that you can think of is what these things do and it's not a game this is not a game they're playing this is the real deal black magic satanic takeover of tasmania they want tasmania to, for their uh, hideaway, their end time hideaway, they want the whole state, they want to perverse the whole state, they want to corrupt the whole state so that the elite can come over and feel like they're at home, but it ain't going to happen, it's not happening, they're failing, they're failing badly, and we need more fighters, we need more resistance and to take them right out, strip them of their power, strip them of their influence, their authority, and it's happening, it's happening, and don't take much, few prayers, I mean, we got so much more than they got, we just got to activate it, we just got to initiate it, so, you know, if you see these things around, do something about it. Do it for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for the the innocent, the, the righteous, even the people in the street. They've got no say in it. Break them. It doesn't, it takes hardly anything to break them. And then you can send them wherever you want. They're demons. They're like um, people with our bodies or critters. I mean, ugly looking things, hanging around, manipulating, intimidating in the mind, the will and emotions of the people, they're operating all the time, you know, but we can break them, we can send them out of the area, send them out of the state, send them back to the senders, send them to, to wherever you want, the feet of Jesus to be made his footstool, send them into the pit, wherever your faith is going to allow you to send them, do it around the time of this dark mofo 2022 they had to go out and and do a bit of recruitment to bring more of the devil worshippers down because hundreds of them we uh hundreds of them we've been praying and praying and hundreds of them had to leave they can't handle the pace they can't handle the fire and they're running they're failing that bad they're getting like um really punished at their meetings and yeah, failing really bad, running away, they want out, but they won't come to the Lord Jesus Christ, they're stubborn, they're rebellious, they're just full of wickedness, and uh, they won't come to the Lord Jesus Christ, so they try to find peace in other ways, and there is no rest for the wicked, they'll never find peace until they come to Jesus, Jesus is the giver of peace, the giver of life, joy and hope and love, they come over, um, they try to prove themselves, they try to make out there's something, and uh, again, it's high-level witchcraft. It's not Harry Potter freaks and 
you know, Sabrina the Teenage Witch playing around with candles and tarot cards. These are blood drinking, um, devil worshipping, Satanists who who are full on just want to destroy, they hate God, they want to destroy the Christians, but they don't care who they take out. But like the, the magicians in Pharaoh's court back in the time, Moses and the, the Israelites just before the Exodus, when they when Moses, you know, put the ten plagues on Egypt, that they, they were copying the plagues, but they didn't care if it was taken out their own people or, I mean, they copied them for their own pride their own ego and pharaoh's nodding his head thinking yeah well we can do that your god's not that big a god but our god is massive god a mighty god and when we can tap into his will and what he wants and start working doing the greater works that jesus said we can do we'll see these things move and it's not just moving them in the, the natural it's moving them in the spirit we got to move and we got to fight in the second heaven to fight them on the earth with you know physical weapons you know waste of time we got to fight we got to raise our uh, levels and start fighting war and in the spirit for tasmania and they're not going to take it because i'm not going to let them others aren't going to let them but they're trying their hardest but they are failing there's a lot of division they're scattering a lot of them are ran that's what i said before um they're um they run because they can't handle it and now the new ones are come in and they're trying to assert their authority or their uh you know their influence over this area to try to fit in make out there's something so that's what's going on and anyway we'll just keep going here here we go here see the um to summon a common demon of hell look at the the these are the sigils these are the um things that they write down to draw demons up and towards them and then they they communicate with them and assign them where they go but the demons are going where they want to go so it's all a con Here's, here's some more, just looks like crazy junk, but it's not, it's real, the whole thing's real, and it's dangerous, it's deadly, and we can't just ignore it, and, and bad things happen around these things, they're sticking them everywhere, everywhere you look, and I don't have to tell you because you'll see them everywhere now, once you wa watch this video, here's another um bunch of them, just mindless scribble, but there there's a reason for them. They're demons. They're assigning demons to areas and dangerous, bad, dangerous, dark, lots of stuff. I mean, here's, so you can understand it's not a game. Have a look at these ones. This is the sigil to curse someone with paranoia. Sigil curse... Sigil to curse someone by attracting negative spirits to them. Who wants that? I mean, where to bless, where to encourage, where to speak the words, living, you know, words of spirit, words of life. It says, out of our belly will flow rivers of living water, and everything we do, the Spirit of God is meant to work through us to bless people, you know, bless them, encourage them, bring life, hope, freedom, you know, cast out demons, heal the sick. But these people, they just want death. They want destruction. They want, because they're tormented on the inside or some, or they're that greedy and self-centered, they're bad. M most of them are reprobate, never going to come out. But some of them, they will because we've seen it. We've seen it happen. The worst of the worst can come out. Sigil to curse someone's relationship and make them break up. Sigil to curse someone with disease and sickness. This is what they're all about. And this is what um, Dark Mofo is all about. These people are gathering together, joining hand in hand, and it's um, they're looking to take over Tassie. So anyone, if you're out there playing games with these people, get out of them because you're going to fall backwards. You'll fall into a snare. You'll fall into pits. You'll fall into nets. 
you know, and webs of witchcraft, your, your mind will be taken, you'll end up, say, apathy, slothfulness, laziness, lukewarmness, like they've cursed the churches with, look at how many have taken the poison, because they had no faith, no trust, you know, in God, we got to lift the game. The game's got to be lifted. It says when the enemy comes in like a flood, God says he'll raise a standard against them. We've got to start lifting the standard in ourselves. Start taking back the land. Get into the battle. Get into the battle. You might actually enjoy it because if you start hitting them, you know, when you're over the target, you'll get the flack and you'll know that you're being effective in the spirit in the second heaven and you're attacking from the third heaven as a joint heir with Christ you're attacking from you know being a joint heir we're seated at the right hand of God high above principalities high above powers thrones and dominions and every name that's named we're attacking from there they're under us they're under our feet we can trample serpents and scorpions and uh, have power over all the power of the enemy nothing by any means shall hurt us we're to be the head not the tail above and not beneath greater is he in me than he who is in the world and if God be for us who can be against us you know, so, and it says in the word that it's a righteous thing with God to repay tribulation to those who trouble us. So this is where we're attacking them from. And we've got to know that God wants us in the battle. It says in um, in Jeremiah, curse be the man who refuses to pick up his sword and draw blood. So God wants us to pick up the word of God in the spirit, this is again not in the flesh. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. So get into it. Here's some more, you know, they're everywhere. All death, all self seeking, self serving. Just, you know, just totally against um, everything that, that a Christian stands for. So, if you're involved with these people, stay away. We're not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. We're not to, you know, mess around with their junk. So, anyway, I, I, again, uh, one more thing. The colours mean something. They all mean something. They're not junk. So, when you see them, break them. This is, I'll show you how to break these curses, how to pray against them, and... Uh, yeah, so if you start taking your own place back, your own street, your own suburbs, we can deal with this and, you know, we can send these curses back sevenfold onto their own heads and then they got to wear them. they got to reap what they sow. And that's the quickest and best way to deal with them. And then they got to figure out which side they're going to be on, whether they want to stay mucking around with the devil or whether they uh, wake up and come over to the winning, winning side. Then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you and destroy all their pictures and destroy all their molten images and quite pluck down all their high places. And ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell therein. For I have given you the land to possess it. This is stuff I, I keep me um, oil in like a little thing like that. A little hole on the top. Or you can use the super anointing oil delivery system. We can just we break your power, demons. We break your power. We break your curses, all witchcraft, hexes, vexes, black magic. We break your power in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Get out of this area. Get out of Tasmania. Get out of Hobart, out of Tasmania in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's enough. If you want to just do that, that would be enough, or that would stir them up and weaken them at least. But the best way to do it, this would be like that video game, Doom. We break your power, demons. Get out of this area. All oh, witchcraft, go back to where you came from. I break your power, render you null and void. The 
Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Command you go back to those who are sending you. In Jesus' name. We break your power. Cancer your assignments. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Father, I pray, send them back. Render unto them the witches, the warlocks that are sending these. God, let them reap what they sow. Render unto them sevenfold their reproach, wherewith they reproach you, O God. In Jesus' name, burn with fire, demons. Burn with fire. Get out of this area. We break your power. We break your power. The blood of Jesus is against you. God, let the oil be the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Here's a little nest of them here. Let's put them around where they'll affect people the most in the negative, biggest, baddest, negative way. So we just break your curses, every curse, every demon assigned to this area. I cancel your assignment. Cover you this area in the blood of Jesus Christ. I break every curse. Hexes, vexes, voodoo, black magic, witchcraft, any blood rituals associated with these curses, these hexes, these sigils. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. We break your power by the authority I have as joint heir with Christ in the third heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to you, God. I break your power. I break your power. Get out of this area. I re rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Father, I just pray you return them back to the senders. Let them reap what they sow. Reward them according to their works. Bring them to nothing. Drop the stone that grinds the powder. The Lord Jesus Christ, whoever falls on that stone will be broken, but on whom that stone falls will be ground to powder. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Break your power. Every demon leave. You gotta leave. Cover in the fire of Elijah that burns up fifty in their captains. Fifty in their captains in Jesus. Father, I pray blessings and favour and grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Your goodness, your mercy over this area. Every demon you gotta go. I break the witchcraft off this area. All witchcraft, all death and destruction, depression, hopelessness, failure and defeat. I put you back on the enemies in Jesus' name, along with shame and reproach and a stench. On the enemies, God, I pray, let them reap what they sow. Reward them according to their works in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, we pray for goodness and mercy in Glen Orkey. Hope and joy and peace and love in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of these demons die, die, shrivel and die, be burnt with fire, be covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. We loose the blood of Jesus Christ over everything here in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Burn with fire. Burn with fire in Jesus' name. Burn with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your power. Cancel your assignments. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Get. you got to get out of the area. Go back to where you came from. Sevenfold, sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn with fire. I rebuke you, I rebuke you, I rebuke you. I break your curses. I break your curses with the authority, the power, the Luke 10 19 scripture. Oh. 
Behold, I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. All curses be broken. Be broken. Hexes, vexes, be broken. Burn with fire. Burn. The unquenchable, all-consuming fire of the Holy Ghost I'll loose on every curse in this street, on this road, in this area of Luna. In Jesus' name, be burnt, be burnt, be burnt with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I break your power. I break your power. Every demon, every devil, every assigned spirit of this area, you got to leave. you got to go. you got to get out of here. Leave now. I trample you under my feet. I crush you. Crush you under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ. I burn you. I burn you. I burn you. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Doom, doom on the devils, doom on the principalities. You're weak, you're weak. I lose weakness, failure and defeat. Jesus' name upon you right now. Right now, death and destruction you put here. I, I bind it back in your own head sevenfold. Father, send it back into the coven. Send it back into the lodges, into the temples of the wicked that are putting these things out. Let them reap what they sow. Let them reap what they sow, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 God, we break the curses in here in the name of Jesus Christ. This one here has been written in blood. Break that curse. We've broken that one before. See the oil I've put around already? They haven't really been back much, hardly at all. Not in there, but on the street they have. Every curse be broken. Every wicked curse be broken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we break the curses. We break the curses here in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of these hexes, I break. I render null and void. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The ones on the... Everywhere. Everywhere you turn, they are. God, every devil and demon they put around this area. I break your power, I break your power through here in the name of Jesus Christ. Every curse be broken in this place in Jesus' name. Be broken, be broken. Fire, fire in the blood, the blood of Jesus. Wash this place clean, wash it clean, wash it clean in Jesus' name. Wash it clean in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash this place clean in the name of Jesus. Wash it clean. Cleanse it, God. Cleanse it. Bless this place. Bless Moon, God. Bless Moon. Every curse be broken. Every demon, devil, assigned spirit. Wicked spirit, go back to where you came from in the name of Jesus Christ. I break your power. I break your power in Jesus' name. I break your power. I cancel your assignments. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. I bind you in heavy chains, unbreakable chains. Every spirit, you've got to leave this area. I lose light and life and love joy and peace and hope and goodness and mercy and grace in the name of Jesus Christ on this area. In the Moona, on the people, 
prosperity and abundance, life. I break all these curses of depression, discouragement, fear, hopelessness, doubt, unbelief, wickedness. In Jesus' name, murder, lying, thieving. In the name of Jesus, I break your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, hopelessness. I break your power. Every curse be broken. Every wicked curse be broken in Jesus' name. Cancel your assignments. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Right back to where we started. Hallelujah. Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things I knew not, they rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me, and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence. O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself, and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long.